Okay. Okay, this is Ross Miller, and he has a really a nice 1948 Dodge over here. And I'm going to let him tell you about the car. Go ahead, Ross. Okay. Actually, it's, it's a 47, not that it makes any difference, but uh, this is the so-called town sedan, uh, which means you got different doors, got a longer front door, and you got this extra plush broadcloth interior with broadcloth on the door panels, broadcloth on the seats, and everything's wood grained. You can see the dash there. Back seats, you got a nice smoking set, grove rail, uh, this is still factory seat covers or dealer installed seat covers on the rear seat. Town sedan, you also got the folding rear armrest. So nice uh, broadcloth on the door panels. So I bought this car at a farm auction to save it from being whatever would have happened to it. Uh, so I went through it. It has all new brakes, all new brake lines, wheel bearings serviced. Transmission serviced, engine completely rebuilt, all new fuel system, radiator flushed out. So it drives pretty much exactly like a new car. And tires? Tires, it has four brand new uh, Diamondback radials on it, which ride, the car rides fantastic and it steers like cream. It's really surprising how nice it is. And it's got the uh, fluid drive transmission, which fluid is- fluid drive, it has the, the basic fluid drive, three speed. <laughs> And look at the oil pressure and everything on this car. How do you like that for a horn? <laughs> look at this baby. Absolutely like the new car now. Of course. Oh, and, and catch this. Now, where do you find that today in a modern car? You don't. The body's straight. Yeah. There's, there's no rust uh, whatsoever. 67,000 miles on it. Six, it well, was owned by perhaps two families in York, rural York, Pennsylvania. Yeah, but now the whole drivetrain's been The redone. whole drivetrain's been bonded. So it doesn't make a difference, there's, really. There's, nothing hasn't been touched. All the lights work, signals work. There, there's nothing mechanical left to do on the car other than drive it. And all the stainless is great. Yeah, this uh, well, the Dodges of this year got the stainless steel grill. Uh, the bumpers are eh, not so great, but that stuff's out there. Or you can well, that can be cleaned up though too. Yeah, that'll clean up some. The I body not, is laser straight. I have not uh, bothered to do anything with the paint. It's pretty much as I bought it other than washing. Uh, the wheels have been painted and pinstriped as per 1947. Now, where did you find someone to pinstripe your wheels? Well, I knew a guy. <laughs> Meaning you. <laughs> I wish I would have known this guy before. I had my pack of wheels done. How much did it cost you to paint your wheels? Pinstripe your wheels? 200 bucks. Okay, that's not bad. Well, that's not good either. $200. <laughs> anyway. Okay, guys. So, if you are interested in this car, I'm also going to post pictures. And if you're interested, you give Ross a call personally and he'll talk to you about the price. I'm intentionally not saying the price because you need to talk to him about it. He can give you a little bit more detail about the car. What's the phone number for you, Ross? 410-357-4561. So there you go, guys. I went for a ride in it, by the way, and uh, it, it, it really, really it drives as well as my Packard. And that's hard for me to say, but it's true. So there it is.